Hi, my name is Kevin Levani. I'm tired and I don't feel like talking because I've been dying for the Mr. Lift. Yeah, bye, now leave me alone. Joan to take over now. Hi. I'm Joan. I'm Kevin's partner and friend. And uh, he calls me Mama. And this is my husband. And he calls him Papa. And Mama and Papa take care of our baby Kevin. And right now what we're doing is feeding him because he needs lots of food to prepare for the Olympia. And we spend about three hours a night cooking his food. He has fish, green vegetables, rice, sweet potatoes, chicken, and lean ground beef. This is what he'll eat for one day. Those full backs for one day? They're probably two days. Two days. And so, by the time I get home from work and change my clothes, I then start. It takes me three hours. We pack his food up. We bought an extra refrigerator to put in the garage just to store his food. And every morning he comes over, goes in the garage, and gets his food. That's about it. And yeah, it tastes good, too. <laughs> it takes about three hours to prepare the food, and it takes about two hours to clean up clean afterwards. Clean up the mess afterwards. So it's a long process. It's like... You know, you start at 7 o'clock in the evening, you don't get done to midnight. And then, when this is all over, I throw out all of my cooking pans that I've been cooking his fish in. They, because yeah. they smell. Yeah, yeah. they smell. Really? Um, I can't stand Every it. other week, we buy 40 pounds of flounder. Right. And um, you go through a total, what, 5 pounds of fish, meat, and or... Fish, meat, and chicken. And chicken every day. Every day. 5 pounds. 5 pounds. How much does it cost? Well, on an average, it, it costs between four to five hundred dollars a week oh, just for the food. Right. Right. So the average individual, uh, what kind of advice do you have for the average? Don't do it. <laughs> Get a day job. <laughs> Get a part-time job. Get a job day job. <laughs> or, or find someone that can afford to take care of you like you did. Right, right. Shit. That it? This is like the Italian Renaissance where the uh, artists all had patrons. <laughs> You're talking about uh, 20 pounds of flounder a week. 20 to 25 pounds of flounder. You're talking 25 pounds of beef. You're talking about 25 pounds of chicken. And the chicken has to be lean, de skinned. Right. So you pay a lot per pound for the food that you buy. The only thing you can buy in quantity is the um, rice, and we buy. Big 10 20 pounds. pound, 10 pound bags of rice. Um, and we get the we get the fish from a restaurant, a friend of ours who orders it special. Sells it to us wholesale. And we get that wholesale by the case. 40 pound case. And then we just pretty much look for sales on the chicken and the beef. And the vegetables. And I love them, and I couldn't do it without them. And I love them, and I couldn't do it without them. And I love them, and I couldn't do it without them. It's bottom line. That's for about three months. We're at three months, and we'll, we'll pack him up, and he'll take some food with him to the show. And uh, we yeah. usually get some styrofoam coolers, and he takes, he'll take that with him, too. Um, so. so he's pretty good to go and, until the show. Take some. That's about it. That's all there is, folks. That's it. Feed him. Keep him clean. Keep him healthy. He's going to take you to the to the uh, treat afterwards? Absolutely. We always go out afterwards. Yeah, we always buy out. Been to every show. Yeah. Yeah. That cost us another $2,000. <laughs> 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 so, you know, you know, I mean, I got to go to the gym and train and bust my ass because I'm not wasting their time.
Oh. Magnum. <sighs> my trick. Magnum. Magnum in my shoes. Magnum on my back. Magnets in my shoes. All over. Good for healing. Normally for hamstrings I do, uh, this is all I do for hamstrings. Uh, kind of very, very heavy, you know. Uh, now, now I can train. Uh, now I can train heavy again uh, because uh, for two years, for three years, I had back problems, you know. And I never would train heavy. I never would uh, do legs heavy stuff like that because my disc uh, was compressed. And now for this year, you know, for the Mr. Olympia, I've trained everything heavy, uh, like I used to many, many years ago. And I think, I, think uh, I feel a lot good, I feel a lot better, I feel more like myself. And now my back is perfect, no problem, nothing. No, but before I could never leg press 1,500 pounds because my back problem or hack squat, everything had to be a lot of reps, you know? And, and I lost some mass and size. Well, I could never do the seated rows, you know? Heavy like that. Uh, now it's, it's okay, no problem. So, I like that. I just had to stop squatting, you know? So.
Jesus.